attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is the first part in a multi-part law cast discussing DTC eligibility, chills, and global locks for OTC market companies. DTC stands for Depository Trust Company. DTC is a central securities depository in the U.S which was originally created as a central holding and clearing system to handle the flow of trading securities and the problems with moving physical certificates among trading parties. DTC is regulated by the SEC, the Federal Reserve System, and the New York Department of Financial Services. Today, and as noted by the SEC, DTC provides clearance, settlement, custodial, underwriting, registration, dividend, and proxy services for a substantial portion of all equities, corporate and municipal debt, exchange traded funds, and money market instruments available for trading in the United States. DTC eligibility is a prerequisite for OTC company shareholders to deposit securities with their brokers and have such securities traded in the open marketplace. Obtaining and maintaining eligibility is of utmost importance for the smooth trading of a company's stock in the secondary market. If the DTC doesn't process and settle trading in your securities, it just doesn't happen. First, like a Form 211 submittal to FINRA, an issuer cannot make direct application to DTC for eligibility. An application must be submitted and sponsored by a DTC participant. Many market makers and transfer agents that I work with offer the service and of course I assist clients in completing the process. Once eligible, DTC reviews such securities for continued eligibility every time a company completes a corporate action that includes obtaining a new QCIT number, such as a name change or reverse split. The DTC application itself is not long or complicated and the application process is not difficult as long as a company meets the eligibility requirements. However, DTC has the ability to request additional information and responses to comments. All securities deposited in DTC are fungible and freely tradable. Accordingly, to be eligible, the company must have freely tradable securities in the hands of its shareholders. Those securities must have either been issued in under an effective registration statement or issued in a private transaction and no longer be restricted, i.e. they must be eligible for use of Rule 144. Also, to be eligible for DTC, a, com a company must have at least one shareholder that holds freely tradable securities that is ready and planning on depositing such securities into the DTC system. Moreover, a company must use a DTC participating transfer agent. Once a DTC application is submitted, DTC will notify the applicant whether a legal opinion letter is necessary. Legal opinion letters must be provided by an experienced securities practitioner, properly licensed in the subject jurisdiction, and in good standing with their bar association. Legal opinions confirm the free tradability of securities to be deposited into the DT system, including either through the registration of such securities or availability of the use of Rule 144. Generally, such opinions are required. In the next law cast in this series, I will begin the discussion of DTC chills and locks on a company stock. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged. <laughs>